Okay, second progression, second progression for our tip anterior. Uh, we're going to use our resistance band. Now I'm using a couch, so what I'm going to do is loop it around underneath here, okay, and then just fasten it off with a bit of a freezer bag clip like so. Now, at home, there's no reason that can't be around the, the base of a bed or the base of a sofa or something like that. If you're doing it on the floor, so it's around the base of your sofa and you're sat on the floor, that's absolutely fine. But what I'll say is you can see the angle of the band is pulling down. So if you can imagine if it's in line with the sofa, what you're going to need to do is get something like a foam roller or a cushion or some kind of prop just to raise the leg up so that you get that downward angle of the band into the ankle, okay? If you don't and the band's going straight, every time you do this, the band's just going to ping off and disappear. So that's why we want a bit of an angle on it. You can see, taking up the tension, but I've got the band quite low on my ankle, yeah? So get it down as close to the ankle joint as you can. Don't have it too high up on the foot. It's gonna put stress through your foot and also it's just gonna whack off every time you soon get bored of it. Now, this you may find to be, I'll tell you and then you think that's easy, but you may find it quite difficult. Because what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to lift my foot towards me whilst curling my toes. Now it sounds simple, but you may be surprised how difficult you actually find that action. So if you're struggling with it, you can break it down. You can curl your toes, then lift the foot. Okay, and once you've got the hang of that, you can then go to them happening concurrently at the same time. So this is the first progression in this. Once you've got happy with this, you know, and you can do the toe curl, the foot lift, and you're doing three sets of 12, no dramas, you're gonna progress it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna come back on my elbows. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lift my foot whilst curling my toes. I'm then going to squeeze my quad to lock my glute, uh, squeeze my quad to lock my knee. Then I'm going to squeeze my glute and I'm pushing my heel down. That's why I say, if you're doing this on the floor, having, so, low, having that cushion on me is good because you've got something to push down into. And then I'll hold like that for the four and then come out for the two. Two, four, two count. So I said that, sorry. So curl the toes, lift the foot. Squeeze the quad, lock the knee, squeeze the glute, smash the heel down, hold for the four, and then relax for the two. If you're on the hypermobile scale, if you've got a lot of uh, hyperextension in your knee, your knees bend backwards quite a bit, get yourself a small towel or some kind of bolster underneath your knee, okay? So that when you Squeeze your quad to lock your knee, you're not hyperextending your knee anymore. So lift the toes and the foot, squeeze the quad, and then you're pushing down, but your legs staying nice and, excuse me, nice and straight. You're not going into hyperextension. You're squeezing your glute and then you're pushing your heel down, holding for the four, and releasing for the two. There you go.